today we're going to do some back training and uh, pretty much, uh, you know, go through some, you know, heavy compound stuff. What is going on guys? Coming at you with another celebrity fitness workout. So this week we actually didn't exactly have a routine planned. I'm um, just coming out of competition. We just wanted to mess around, practice our hops, get this series started, film a lot of videos and just, you know, dabble in and out of compound movements and have a lot of fun. So I mean, actually one of our latest videos titled, we need your help. Our buddy Albert Aldridge gave us the idea to do Jay Cutler. Olympia just passed. We figured why not? You know, let's get a huge back. Uh, so start Starting off with these reverse wide grip lap pull downs, one of my favorite reasons for really liking them is I feel that they really stimulate the lower laps, the, sorry, the lower lats um, a lot more than a, a regular lap pull down. So moving on to the one arm dumbbell row, this is an exercise I see a lot of people doing incorrectly and I think the main reason is that they believe they always have to go over 100 pounds for this uh, exercise. They always think they need to be doing the absolute most amount of weight. but. I think it's very important. You'll see here Josh is doing 100 pounds perfectly. It's very important to make sure that you're doing a certain weight that you can control, but it will be working your muscles just enough to make that progress with that progressive overload. Uh, moving on to the underhand bent over cable row. So this is something we actually showed on our Snapchat. By the way, if you're not following it, it's Colossus Fit. I highly recommend you following that, but um, it's just a different variation. So Jay Cutler actually had regular barbell rows, um, you know, planned out, but we just decided to switch it out, you know, stray a little bit away from the routine and just add in this little cool variation where you have constant tension from the cable, gives you a nice pump, and it's just overall a lot of fun. Next up, we're gonna be doing three sets of 12 on the machine rows, staying within that hypertrophy range. Mind muscle connection is gonna be absolutely crucial in ensuring that your lats are gonna be worked properly within this exercise. You notice that I'm pronating my hands at the end of the movement, and the reason I'm doing that is because I believe it allows me to get a better extension on the exercise and just overall contract my lats a lot better. Um, there may be two reasons why you don't actually feel, feel your lats being worked within this exercise. I hear some people saying it. One of the reasons this was something that Josh was saying to me is a lot of people treat this machine um, as a machine that you can just half rep on and number two you probably aren't getting proper mind muscle connection so keep those two things in mind now the seated cable row uh, you guys will notice we have done a ton of rowing within this workout we've done the one arm rows uh, we've done the cable rows uh, machine rows and now we've got the seated rows so Jay Culler was a big fan of doing rows for the bros <laughs> Anyways, uh, you'll see here Josh is getting a nice extension. He likes to lean forward because he really feels he can get a better stretch out of those lats. Uh, we've heard a lot of you know professional bodybuilders talk about that, so it's something we like to dabble in, and uh, we feel we get the best results from on that exercise. Finishing up, we've got some hyper extensions, and this is just overall great for your lower back. You can feel a nice stretch, and it's just pretty relaxing to be doing after you know such a tough workout where you're really crushing those lats. Um, and your whole entire back. You can toss in some deadlifts. Um, we did some yesterday, which is why we didn't do this. Do them in this workout. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm talking kind of fast. Give it a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.